What's up, Barbara? Shoulder point. Okay. <laughs> and you heard it from the mouth himself. Okay, guys, here we are at the young um, Roxon. And um, one thing I like about this company is they put them in burlap bags. And then they wrap them up in plastic. I don't think they did the plastic last time. Wow. <laughs> okay. Yeah, they didn't do the plastic last time, but we did it this time. Now I'm going to check the trees. Okay, we got the trees here. And we got a little band around them, which hopefully I can just untie. Like, try. Yep. They tie them up, they don't like them. You don't need to cut them, so they're all tied up. What I'm doing, I'm going to make sure these are a good size. And they should be 15 to 20 inches. I got this here. So. Okay. This end of 20 inches from the top, and that is 13. Now we got one here. We got two actually. And that's right about 15. We got another one here. That's right about 15. We got a good one right here, a nice thick, and that's probably more like 20. Yeah, it's about 19. We got one right there, it's 15. Now why I'm measuring these is because last time we got the trees, some of them were like 6 inches tall, and some of them were like 8 inches tall, and maybe 12 inches tall. And I ordered 15 to 20 inches tall. So the lady said at Jolly, uh, I mean, uh, at the Pine Grove Nursery, she said, give me a call if they're not, you know, pretty close to 15 to 20 inches. So that's what I'm doing now. Oh, that was real tall. And 19. Uh, 13. I don't think we'll mind too much about 13. Down 17. And this one here. That's 15 ish. Okay. So far, it looks like we got a good order in these trees. There are a couple of them, however, I thought were like eight or nine inches. Uh, I'm not going to complain about it. You know, as long as, you know, most of them are, you know, 15 to 20 inches, I'll be playing with that. Okay. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to wrap the roots back up on right here. They're pretty damp in here, so. Actually, I'm probably going to give them a drink of water since we're not going to be able to plant them right away. And, uh, 
And these are balsa firs. The balsa firs, I don't know if you can see that far right there, but these are the balsa. And the balsa should be 14 to 18. Okay. So let me show you here. I'm going to keep this wrapped up. So. You can't plant each runway, so these wrapped up. I'm not sure. And these really don't look that big at all. Uh, most of them about 15, 14 to 15 inches. And that's from the, from the, from the root base, about from the root base, which is about right here. That's not pretty good, 14, 15 inches right there, so. Got on those. Gonna get it wrapped up with the board and we back out of it. And these, these sort of white spruce. Norway spruce, I'm sorry. The Norway spruce, and for some reason the Norway spruce, I think they're a faster growing tree because they're, the size of it is pretty big and uh, the, it, it's a big tree, it's heavy here. So we got heavier, and these should be 12 to 18 inches. Okay, and I'm going to take off the burlap. The burlap, so you can see what they are when they're new. So when they you know, just get them. Right there. I don't know if you can see these well, but I'm gonna you know, try to wrap this up so we keep the roots nice and moist. Now these actually look a little bigger. Well, some of them do anyway. That one's 20 inches tall. Now you got some of them that are about 12, and some of them that are 13. Now, I don't know if you can see them. I don't know if you can see it that good, but some of them have even started to bud up here a little bit. They're there's new growth up there, new growth on that one, new growth on that one, and uh, they're ready to pop. You know, so I'm gonna wrap them back up. I'm gonna wrap them back up and put them back in the box. Well, 
we're doing, we're putting them back in the box so they could, so I could put them back and when we're ready to plant them, they would be ready to plant. Okay, they're, they're out in the box. And these came in a box like that. And, you know, from Pine Grove Nursery. Um, now, in a few days, we're going to be able to plant them. I wanted to show you something else. Uh, where is this? I'm not sure where, what we did with it. Ah, there it is. Okay. Now, this thing right here, I'm going to, it's a little dirty, but, you know, this thing right here, my mom got this for me uh, about a year, two years ago. And what it does, you, you can turn the handle like that. She got it off Wish, which was really weird because I, well, I think she got it off Wish.com. There's not an advertisement for Wish, so don't go there. Um, it's about the best thing for weeds I could get, or I, I have used, for single weeds. Not, not when they're bunched up, but a single weed here and there for a normal uh, person that doesn't, you know, that just wants to take care of the weeds in their lawn. This is a good weed thing. What it does, it, you stab it in the middle of the root, or the weed, where you know where it branches out and then you turn it you keep turning it and that part it just turns and wraps the weed all around and you pull it out and then you push it out and the weed's gone it, it, this thing gets to the root it, it does a wonderful job so i think this is one of the best investments you can get or at least something like this. Um, you know, this is like a ratchet right here. And you can just poke it in the ground and start turning it. So, okay. That's enough of that. I'm just showing you that because it's a, a pretty decent weed puller, powder, whatever you want to call them. So, uh, other than that, that's the that's the box opening box from Plant Grove. Most of the trees in here are of proper size, and um, we don't have to worry about calling them and having them reshipped out or whatever. So that that's good. And uh, hopefully, we'll be able to plant them within the week. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to add some water to them. Because they don't, they should need, you know, I got that plastic wrapped around them, so they are still moist. So I probably don't have to add water for them for a day or two. But what I'm doing, I'm putting this box in our basement, because our basement has no temperature control, and it's fairly cool and pretty, kind of damp in there a little bit, but not much. But, so I'm going to put these in the basement. And until next time, guys, live it, love it, share it.